Well, on behalf of all the citizens of the Commonwealth of Virginia, you know, our hearts are broken, our souls are crushed, and the, the notes and calls that I've received in the governor's office, we wanted to convey to everybody here our thoughts and sympathies, and also thank everybody here at the staff for the tremendous courage that they've shown through this tragic situation. Uh, tell me, where were you, what were you doing when you first found out what happened Wednesday morning? Well, I was alerted by my Secretary of Public Safety, Brian Moran, and Colonel Flaherty, the head of the state police, early in the morning. I was en, en route to Washington. I was doing my monthly uh, call into the governor's show. And right before we went on the show, we'd gotten the call that an incident had occurred at Smith Mountain Lake. In fact, Dorothy and I had just gotten back. We were right on that marina. That's where we rented our oh, boats, our five children. We were just there. Beautiful community, yes. great yeah. folks, Roy and Mary, who run the marina. So. For us, and as soon as we heard it, we were shocked, and then to try and get the details, and then, unfortunately, very quickly, we learned that, um, obviously, two great individuals had lost their lives, and one other had been injured. I spoke to Tim yesterday. Vicky's come through the surgery, so, you know, our thoughts and prayers are yes. still with Vicki. Uh, senseless. It happens entirely too many times in this country, and you think, you know, we're 40 miles from Virginia Tech, and you think that was the single worst single shooter incident in the history of our country. And it was right here in our backyard. Yeah, 32 innocent people.